This is where the SDL library has something pretty useful called the source rect. When drawing an image, the SDL render copy has a few different parameters. The renderer so it knows what viewport to render to, the texture or image it's supposed to draw, the source rect, and the destination rect. Recs contain a location and size to them. The destination rect is where the image is and how big it should be. But the source rect is what we need. This is essentially a small window that can change its size and location. This then crops the image to what we need. So if we do this with the sprite sheet, we're able to crop the image to only display one character at a time. Perfect, but now he doesn't move. We now have to figure out how to get the source rec to move around. This is relatively simple. Instead of changing the image based on the frame, we now change the source rec. This can be done by multiplying the frame num times the cell size of the animation. Okay, this looks pretty... Oh, that's definitely not correct. 